everybody Jules here from Jules Designs and JT Creations so this is me onto my winter tail um, journal so what I've done is um, what I always do is with my envelopes I get a couple of envelopes um, I used these three well mainly them two and I used faded jeans and stormy sky I just blotted them on my mat sprayed water dipped um, the envelopes in dried them off I then put them through an embossing folder um, I've got tons and I need to start using them but they were they were too embossed I debossed half of it and embossed the other half so I put it back through um, the machine to straighten it out a bit this one I used a sort of like a pillar um, emboss so it's like debossed on the other side and again it was two so I put it back through so what I'm going to do is I am going to decoupage with some winter um, scent. so we'll start with the small one and I had kind of decided to do more of a scene than anything um, so I'm using matte medium uh, acrylic matte medium and it's starting to get thick and gloopy this but um, oh. right okay So, and I'm using a, a silicon blade rather than a brush. We'll see what these are like. I got them at um, Hair and Beauty World. Um, they are hairdressers um, tint brushes, but they're cheaper than the ones that you buy online. So I decided to get them from there. Uh, I tried Sally's. Sally's don't sell them. Well, Sally's in Dunfermline don't. And we'll put that there. And we've got a little Christmas bit here. So all I'm doing is I'm and any embossing on the um, the actual serviette just comes out when it's when it's stuck on here. So we'll have the little rabbit. I don't have a lot of um, wintry um, napkins. It's just what I've picked up in the, the local supermarket over over the years. I used to buy them online, but I've stopped. Um, because they were getting too expensive. We'll have a little Christmas tree. So we'll leave that one there for now. And this one I'm going to put holly and a robin on. So I'm going to put the holly in this. Now the holly is from a cream napkin, so I'm not quite sure how that will um, look. I've put coloured napkins on things before but my colours are tend to be sort of like for this kit are the the icy blues icy greens and icy pinks so we'll see if it doesn't go I'll just keep it for another year or keep it for something else Mm. 
and I did cut the holly out. Normally I rip it out, but um, I just wanted to save time. <laughs> and I'm just wondering if I'm going to regret that. Right, we'll try and I'm just going to try and rough up the edges a bit. The robin's on a white napkin, so that should just the white napkins just blend in. Um, I like that one has. That's quite nice actually. It's just this. Um, I might need to go around the edges with something. And I think this one has been a, a napkin or something. Um, not a napkin, um, you know, the paper towels. And I've, because it's just a sheet I've got and it's, it's not two ply or anything, but it looks nice. Oh, it's quite nice. I'm just going to put that right over. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, oops, take that bit of paper off. Scrape that back in there. don't know whether I should be doing this but and then I'll be back okay okay so that's them dry so what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim the edges watch you don't cut into the envelope I've done that many times and then you have to stick it with washi tape or glue. And that's actually quite smooth. Sometimes it goes a bit wrinkled, but um, because I use the the matte medium, it doesn't wrinkle as much. And because these are wintry ones, uh, I'm going to put some glitter on these. Again, glitter is something I've got in abundance um, from my demo days. If you, you can, um, if you want, you, know, you can do the edges with a, a nail file. If they get a little bit lumpy and bumpy and you don't like it, you can go over it with a nail file. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and... the edges of this I don't know how it will work but if I don't try I won't know
actually doesn't seem to be little mind this isn't a very good nail file it's been used on other things now it's not taking the holly off right so we'll just leave that and we'll put that back so glitter um, that's a snowy one right I think that's the white one that one's got like different colors in it um, so I think I will use that one Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my art glitter glue um, because it's quite quite sort of like the, the nozzle is. Oh, I've left the pin out just for an hour. It. what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some on the star I'm just going to do the the outer shapes on the the wee spikes First time I used art glitter glue, it was for doing the mandala stamps. You know where you you put the the glitter. You got the little round pots with the little bits of glitter in, and I'll just put a little tiny bit inside, and we'll put some on the berries. I'll not put any on the bird, but I will put some on the berries round about the bird, the little robin. Okay, I'm just looking for a piece of paper. And see I've been printing on doilies again that there to dry and we'll do this one and this one I'm going to do the the tree just the one side And we'll put some on the, the corn and some on the, the branches and we'll do the little, little bits. And we'll 
and put some underneath the rabbit like he's sat in the snow and again that there and I'm going to put it round round the edges here so it looks more like snow than the edge of the have a Christmas album without a bit of glitter in it. Um, yep. Right, where do I have a... I usually have a spoon or something hiding somewhere. Ah, this is more like This is a heavier glitter, this. Remember and wash that before I use it in there. So when that's dry, that will be quite nice, actually. It's, um, I don't know whether you can see it under there. I'm not quite sure, but what I am going to do is I'm going to get some stamps and we're going to go over it with some stamps or... I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I'm back. I've got my stamps. I should have maybe done the stamping before I did the glitter in, however. So I want a postage stamp. Now I've got these. Um, I got from AliExpress. So I'm going to use the Polar Bear. And I'm going to use the hickory smoke because I don't want it too dark. So I'm just going to stamp it on here first. That's fine. If you like a... Like a rubbery piece of glue. And we're going to put that one up here. I just want a faint hint of a stamp. I don't want a great big huge. That's it. Perfect. And it's a polar bear. I don't have any Christmas ones. And again, 
just a faint hint of a stamp. And there we are. Because after all, it is an envelope. And right, I'm trying to think. I'm going to use a, a blue. Um, I'm going to use Stormy Sky. And I'm just going to get some. not showing anything in particular and I will wash my stamps afterwards because more than likely they've got glue on them a glitter and we'll do a little bit over this there we are. Do I want any more? I'll do this in a minute. There we are. So we'll do this I'm just going to do this side bit because there's right up the side on this one. So there we have it now I can feel the glitter now in my hand so the stamps need washing the that stamp pad probably needs brushing over um there we have it i don't know whether you can see the the slight glittery bits i'm trying to hold it up to the eye no, it's not showing that well. And there we are. And what happens is they go on the page. So you've got your, your journal page and they go on. That might be too wide. So what I might do is I might use that as a pocket um, inside. I might actually cut it in half and have that as a pocket and that as a pocket. But this size usually goes over the page like that. And then what I do is, because that's embossed, I usually stick it down and I have a tuck spot there. So I hope you get something out of this. Um, just splashing about with inks, uh, whatever colour that you're 
you know, whatever colour your theme is. Mine's ice blues, greens and everything. So winter um, napkins, decoupaged um, and a little bit of glitter. And once the glitter's hard it is, then I'll give, you know, I'll give the envelope a good brush and it gets rid of all the, the little loose bits. There always will be loose bits with glitter. You know, if you've used it, you'll know yourself. But it always looks nice, especially in a, a winter Christmas journal. So I hope you get something out of this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.